boys welcome back to the channel and we're back talking about some more transformers reactivate content and i know i did a video last month talking about when can we expect more news with transformers reactivate but given with what happened in san diego comic-con i kind of want to make its own video and talk about the idea of when can we expect the beta for transformers reactivate so right now by the time i'm recording this it is august 12th and we are very close to gamescom we are a little bit two weeks away Gamescom is on August 22nd. They'll be doing a whole event for that whole week as well. But the whole main show will be on the 22nd, showing new games and all that kind of similar to the Game Awards and Summer Games Fest. A lot of people suggested the idea that Transformers Reactivate will be there. And I'm kind of in the same boat. I think it would be a perfect time, perfect moment for Transformers Reactivate to be there again to hype up, you know, the game, show beta dates, or, you know, just give us another trailer for the game. I think this would be perfect. I think the next three months would be amazing for Transformers Reactivate News. As they did say, we were going to get a beta this year, a closed beta. Also, too, on their website, did they did change the description of the game. I know I'm not the only one. I mentioned this on my stream that I could have swore that it said co-op adventure, one of four player game. Not in those exact words, but I know co-op was mentioned. But now co-op's not there and now it's just action adventure game, which is great because this most likely means it's going to be leaning heavily on the Warframe aspect of gameplay like we've been suggesting and seeing from leaks way back when when it was being developed by Certain Affinity. But now since Splash Damage and Bulkhead are working on this, this is a good sign that the game is moving along very nicely. And it's good to know that they just kind of got the co-op word out of there because a lot of people were confused with the idea of the game being co-op or, you know, with the campaign multiplayer. So it's good that they just have that now instead of what they had before. So with Gamescom happening, like we just said, there's a good chance that Transformers Reactivate should be there. And we also have the toy listings that we talked about way back in March. And considering what happened with San Diego Comic-Con and the Q&A panel, we did see a question that was asked about the Transformers Reactivate toy line, if they're going to be part of Studio Series or its whole entire line. And Hasbro responded with info coming soon, which is a good sign. That's great that we should be getting something soon. And that pretty much solidifies the idea that in these next couple months, we should be getting more stuff for transformers reactivate it's been very very calm no news at all no marketing at all i have no really i have no clue what's going on with the game and like why there hasn't really been any news from them the only thing we've gotten from them was that transformers reactivate will be on unreal engine 5 and according to this tfw post thank you to optimus for showing me this image is that they've been working on this game with unreal engine 5 even before the announcement of the game, which is great. So that means that the port of this game going to Unreal 5 is going along nicely, and they've been working on it for quite some time, which is great. We also have PulseCon coming up, which is September 22nd. Hasbro was teasing that with San Diego Comic-Con and PulseCon being on the 22nd. August 22nd is Gamescom. I think it would be perfect if you actually show the game at Gamescom, and then PulseCon, we get those two packs revealed, because according to those listings that we saw back in March, the game toys are supposed to be coming out in October. Now, I don't really necessarily think they're going to be coming out in October, per se. I mean, we know that these toys are done and they've been made because according to the Amazon listing, which I believe Reaper first covered these, I'll have his channel down below. And I believe recently Hypnotic showed the Amazon listing as well. I have both his channels down below to check them out and check out their videos. They also make similar content to mine about the Amazon listing of the two packs. So like these toys are done. They've been made. The listings came out back in March. This Amazon listing has been around, I believe, for quite some time as it still has the name Transformers Rise. And it's the two pack for Optimus Prime and Soundwave. And this kind of makes me believe that these two packs will be Amazon exclusive, which I know some people aren't exactly a fan of. But hey, at least we're going to get these two packs. Hopefully we get some type of code or reward for in-game. I don't really know. Maybe these two packs give us beta access. I feel like that would kind of suck if they did do that. But that could be a possibility. So we do have these two packs. I, mean, I really think for PulseCon, these two packs will be revealed. And then in October, we actually pre-order them. I don't think they're going to actually release in October, but just more. We pre-order them and we'd probably get them, you know, November, December or even early next year. So with all this information that I provided, when can we actually expect beta dates? Because like I said at the beginning of the video, they plan on doing a beta in 2023. Now, if we do get Gamescom right they we do get more information at gamescom from them i would probably say around between early september and late august around that time we would probably get information about the beta dates and the actual beta itself would probably be november or december 
maybe you know october but with PulseCon and the two packs you really want to build off the build off the hype i know everyone wants to play the beta now and you know play the game now i'm the same way i mean i'm over here covering news on this game we're talking about listings that are like you know years old and stuff but considering what the question that was asked about the two packs and info coming soon at comic-con this information is more relevant than ever so i truly believe we'll get a beta around that time between late at the end of this year probably october or november and then hopefully a game release around you know maybe late this year like december or early 2024 i'm probably any more towards on early 2024 they could also just release this game and call it a beta state and just release the game a lot of games tend to do that i wouldn't really want that i want splash damage and bulkhead to take their time with this game and when it's ready it's ready Considering that a lot of rumors are going around saying this game is going to be free to play and all that, let's hope this game really just, when it comes out and gets out the door, it's working and functioning properly. I know a lot of people have been wondering when we are going to get more information. I think the stuff I provided in this video kind of showcases what we can expect. As we are, you know, like I said, we are in kind of middle August right now and we haven't gotten any real information from them since honestly the beginning of this year saying that they will be working on this game. On unreal engine 5 which is great and it's good to know that the process development of this game has been going pretty fine and smooth in terms of unreal engine 5 port as they've been doing it like before the announcement back in december which is crazy to think that we're almost on 250 days since the game was announced that's crazy to think hopefully the marketing should start ramping up here it should ramp up if the game gets revealed at gamescom i'm not saying me personally that the game will be at gamescom i don't want to you know mess with you guys' expectations it would be great a lot of people have been saying it's gonna be at gamescom which you know makes sense but if it's not at gamescom it's probably more than likely that it will be at game awards and it will mark one year since the announcement which would suck if that's the case but you know they do have still plans on doing a beta this year and a closed beta at that so i guess we'll just have to wait and see with whatever they provide us in the information when it comes to this game I'm just really excited to play this game and hopefully, you know, stream it to you guys and, you know, check out everything in there. I, you guys already know I'll be making, you know, lore videos, build videos. That's something I really want to do is just have some really cool, fun build videos and have, you know, characters that we see from the leaked roster back when Cern Infinity was working on. And hopefully that's the same roster as well, because, you know, seeing characters like Sunshreaker and Hot Rod is really cool. So hopefully once the game comes out, everyone will be happy and, you know, there won't be really any sort of problems with this game but i guess we will just have to wait and see let me know you guys thoughts on this video do you guys think that you know do you guys do you guys still have hope for this game you know coming out this year for the beta do you, are you guys hopeful for the two packs i truly believe that the two packs are gonna be you know pretty solid i really hope they're not amazon exclusive but considering it's an amazon listing and it's kind of old take it with a grain of salt with, with the amazon listing but with the listings we saw back in march and the rumor to out in october and then we have PulseCon on the 22nd of september i would kind of say yeah it's probably going to be an amazon exclusive which kind of sucks and hopefully with these two packs too they're pretty easy to get a lot of amazon exclusive two packs sell out really fast so hopefully for everyone out there that wants these two packs they can get their hands on it i know i'm personally excited for the two packs coming out i'm also excited for PulseCon as we saw that really cool hot shot and of course gamescom itself but you guys already know i'll be there every step of the way when the game does come out or we get more information as you know not not to brag but you know fastest tfr news in the west but in all seriousness all we can do is just really wait and see when more info comes out for this game i'll be streaming the gamescom we'll be doing a watch party here on youtube like we've done for all the past gaming events as those watch parties are actually insane so let me know you guys lots uh leave a like on the video and um subscribe if you guys like transformers content and i will catch you guys in the next one all right take care bumblebee what a waste of energon after eons of conflict i finally see the truth of your words megatron and what might that be optimus this universe no matter how vast, will never be big enough for you and I to coexist.